Hello friends, today we are going to create an executable jar file using the Graal VM or Oracle JDK's jar utility. For creating a standalone jar file, we will be using three Java files. The first one is called as jmainentry.java and is the main function. It then the other two are called as serial.java and dbx.java. These files contain the class serial as well as the class dbx and the methods write and read as well as for serial open and close. These two in the main function we create the object mys for serial mys and then you call the the main function in the main function we use the we create two objects of type serial and type mydb and call their respective here in the main function we are going to create an object called mys of the type serial and then call the methods open and close same here also we are going to create an object of the type db access and then call the methods write and read this will print some messages into the command line that's all this program will be doing nothing else so we will convert this into a standalone jar file which you can run it on command line so the important thing you have to know is that this whole files all these java files are under the package com.my package this is very important when you are creating the jar file because your jar file has to follow the same format like com if on my package then your classes so we will compile all these files and i will run it to show how this thing works okay so all the files are in the jar create folder and i will use the java compiler to compile all the files use the d flag Com keep all the files in the same directory and compile all the java files then i will have to run this thing so we will call the java jvm then we will we have to give the full name fully qualified name of the class that contains the main function here that will be j main entry dot java so you have to give com dot my package so the program executed successfully and it will print some messages that's all now we will create a executable jar file for that we have to use the jar utility okay now you can you don't need the source files so you can delete that you are inside the jar create folder and you can see that the class files are organized like com my package and all the three classes are here here the j main entry class is the one containing the main function this is important because for creating an executable jar file you have to specify where the main function is so we are going to create the so we will call the jar utility jar and we will call it c for creating a new jar file and v for verbose f to tell that it's a file and e to specify this is the important thing e to specify that the you are creating an executable jar file now you have to give the name let's call it my jar or my executable jar next thing we have to give is the fully qualified name of the class containing the main function so you have to write com dot my package j 
JMAIL entry. And you have to tell which all files you have to include in the jar. So we will just include everything. So then we will press enter. Now it has now the file has been created and you can view it using the TF of table of content. See now the manifest is the file which contains if you open So we have created a jar file and I'm going to open this file using a WinRAR program. Okay. Now inside this you can see that the meta-inf folder is there. Inside that there is one file called manifest.mf and you can edit it. See, inside that it will show the version and the date created and you can see that the main class is com.mypackage.jmainentry now you can use the java file I mean the java program with the flag jar and the name my So this is work. This is how you create an executable jar file. So the important thing you have to remember is that when you are creating, you have to use the E flag and also the fully qualified name. If you make a mistake here, then it will say that the when you are running this, it will say that it can't find the particular file. So like this. And if you like things written in the text format, you can find it in our website. And you can also find the link in our description. And do give a like if you like it. And subscribe it if you like this type of content. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.